वेलकम टू चूजिंग लीडरशिप एंड दिस इज अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ द कांट स्टे साइलेंट सीरीज विद योर होस्ट सुमित गुप्ता दिस सीरीज इज अबाउट फाइंडिंग द करेज टू स्पीक आवर ट्रूथ एंड लिव ऑथेंटिकली फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ माय लाइफ आई हैव केप्ट माय वॉइस हिडन एंड बरीड बिनीथ लेयर्स ऑफ फियर एंड इनसिक्योरिटी इन ईच एपिसोड ऑफ दिस सीरीज आई विल फाइंड द स्ट्रेंथ टू एक्सप्रेस माय सेल्फ फ्रॉम द बॉटम ऑफ माय हार्ट विदाउट एनी फियर ऑफ जजमेंट these short episodes will be filled with honest reflections simple stories and metaphors and some gentle provocations all to help you deploy yourself in your own life together we will discover how we can create a world where all of us can show up as leaders so if you are ready to allow the leader in you to bravely listen to my call of leadership join me on can't stay silent a few months ago i did an interview with uh, serial entrepreneur faisal haq it was something which uh, which he mentioned which he said which has been intriguing me ever since he said life is the balance between making things happen and letting them happen and i have been pondering that quote ever since and so many times we try to make things happen and again that is what leadership is that is my definition of leadership making something happen which is not going to happen on its way but the more i reflect about life in itself i realize that there is no forcing in nature there is no force in nature when you see things happening in nature there is no force there yes there is a flow and the flow can be both productive and destructive like the flow could be of a tide or it could be of a flood the flow could be of an avalanche the flow could be of an earthquake the flow can be destructive or productive but there is no forcing in nature never in fact the moment we try to force or the moment anybody or anything tries to force something it creates friction right when we try to push against something it creates friction it's as true of the physical uh world uh, that we live in but it's very true of people as well right nobody likes to be pushed it's not natural nobody likes resistance when we push people they push back and as leaders we are always trying to get somewhere and most often we are trying to do that do that faster better quicker and more and again there is nothing wrong with that but we can create anything we can create anything which we are creating as leaders with or without force and that is something i think which is the balance between making things happen and letting them happen another metaphor to use is uh, music but nature is pretty much like music and you cannot force music you have to let it flow and we say that i i play the piano or i play the guitar we don't say that i work piano or guitar right and and we all know and uh, we all can feel it that it is not pleasant when a musician when a singer or when a sports person or even a business leader or a politician is trying to force something it doesn't work in fact it loses its beauty if a musician is trying to force the music or if a, if a singer is trying to force the singing it loses its beauty just the same way as uh, a business leader or a politician is trying to force something right so again once again controlling or trying to control people what they do how they do it create all sorts of problems both in the workplace but also in society and also in the wider like aspect of between nations but also between uh, people between uh, husband and wives between friends between uh, neighbors trying to control something or somebody always creates friction because it is not natural and do- it doesn't mean that Uh, that we have to be passive or it doesn't mean being lazy or that we stop taking any action or we stop trying to make things happen because that is what leadership is leadership is creating making a future but you can do that with or without forcing and there is a time it's obviously there is a time for action but you must learn to use the right leverage at the right time you must learn to use the right action at the right time or do the right thing at the right time which is not forcing against anything which is natural just like a musician must play the piano or play the guitar they have to do something they have to take action 
but overdoing that or trying to control the music is only going to make it worse another example from the world of martial arts like judo or aikido that you yes you have to use your muscle you have to use your skill but you must use the muscle at the right time and when you can do so you can topple an opponent who is multiple times your weight right so it's not trying to force something you cannot obviously topple an opponent who is multiple times your weight by trying to force to do that but when you leverage when you do the right action when you use the right muscle at the right time you can do that that is martial arts if you force in martial arts you lose it is about flow leverage and they're using the right action at the right time so no forcing doesn't mean passivity it just means a different way of leading and acting which eliminates all friction both internally right friction among ourselves inside ourselves with our emotions with what we are feeling but also in the outside world in our relationships in our communication with the people it is like learning to ride the waves when you are surfing you cannot control the waves but you can ride it you can learn to ride it to give you another example right you cannot force yourself to fall asleep now sleeping is as natural as it can be everybody sleeps but you have to let yourself fall asleep everything else works the same way by forcing we interfere with the natural process and once again it doesn't mean that you do not do anything or it is wrong or bad to do something but you identify actions which you which use leverage or which flow with the natural flow of things and then you take them and then you identify actions that are forcing against the natural flow of things and then you stop and then you let things happen and it is only when you stop trying to go to sleep that you can fall asleep and it is only when you stop trying to play beautiful music that the beautiful music can actually flow or happen through you the best musicians are not who can play the fastest or the most number of hours in a day the best are those who let the music flow through them and let their action and their bodies be guided by that flow which is not often th- their own which is basically the flow of the music itself and when it comes to leadership when it comes to our personal action or that trying to make it happen by working more that urge that we feel that we have to do something that we have to fill our hours with more work or that we have to make every second productive a lot of this forcing or trying to force is an escape mechanism to avoid stopping to avoid the discomfort of simply being in silence of simply being with yourself in a state of not doing just because letting anything be or letting something happen is so uncomfortable for us to be there with our own self in silence and solitude that we try to fill that gap with forcing something and that creates a whole lot of problems on the outside and it is only in silence and in solitude with yourself that you realize what music is yours to play it is only in silence and solitude that you realize and can listen and can understand what is yours to do or to make happen like both in the artistic world in, in the sports arena but also in the world of business politics and every other major issue that we face today it is only in silence and in solitude with yourself that you can understand what is yours to make happen what is it that calls you and what is it that deeply matters to you and once again not just to your mind but also to your heart also to something deeper inside you and this might sound new or weird to you but this is nothing new for us we were all children and as children we all live in a state of not forcing anything even when the world is very scary very uncertain and full of giants for children right when children come into this world the world is very uncertain we do not know anything and we are surrounded by giants we are surrounded by people who have power who have authority who are bigger than us physically as well as in every other way and yet children have the most fun and joy 
we all do as children we have the most fun and joy all of us remember our childhood and we still are that child we still have that capacity it is still there inside us if we give it space only if we allow it to come out and often people say right come back to the real world come back to reality when i uh, when i listen or when i talk to somebody about any of these ideas so let me share what does it mean to not force anything in the real world in the world of business in the world of work in the world of politics and everything that we face in society the first element of not forcing is just letting go of the need to be right about your opinions ideas and arguments now it doesn't mean that your op- ideas opinions and arguments are bad or wrong or you never have to use them but you just let go of the need to be right about them all the time or to proving somebody else wrong all right so and just meeting people in the world as it is without the hold of those ideas or trying to force them on somebody if you are attached to your ideas you are already forcing and just like using the right muscle at the t- right time you can argue about whatever you believe when needed but not all the time not as a tool to force something because that is against nature that's of one thing right meeting people where they are without the need to be right about your own ideas opinions and assessments the second is what we can do is we can let go of wanting to be somewhere else where we are right now right the whole point of music is what you are listening right now not what you are going to listen 5 seconds or five hours in the future the whole point of dancing is the dance itself not to get somewhere else all right so wanting to be anywhere else is forcing an idea or forcing an a vision on the future on the current reality right so once again nothing wrong with dreaming of a future vision of dreaming of a better future but forcing that on today on and ignoring the current reality is actually taking us away from the dance of making that of actually letting it happen or letting the reality unfold towards where we want it to be right and once again this is a paradox right by trying to make things happen we actually make it difficult for them to happen the third thing we can all do is we can stop waiting for happiness joy or retirement right we use this word retirement as a placeholder for, for when we will like really live our life or when we will start to follow our dreams so stop waiting for all of these things it, f- stop waiting for future to be happy to be joyful and to follow your dreams they are all available to you right now delaying something or putting something you want in the future irrespective of whatever reasons you have is pushing against your heart is pushing against your mind and your body right you want what you want you desire what you want if you want something then you want that and pushing that and then resisting that right now is basically forcing something which is not natural and i'm talking about the desire which is coming from the bottom of your heart in a space of silence right i'm not just talking about greed or just wanting more money or more results i'm talking about a desire which is coming from a bottom of your heart right if you push against that if you hold it for the future it's going to create resistance it's create going to create resentment it's something inside you which is always going to come up keep going to come up and point out that something is missing right now and for most of us it is true most of us we can listen to our heart and really listen to that one voice or that one dream or anything which we have been putting off for so long the fourth thing we can all do in the real world is to stop taking things too seriously all the time and it is only by stopping to take something too seriously that we can be serious about doing the best that we can in any given moment let me repeat that right it is only by stopping to take something too seriously that we can be serious about doing the best we can in any given moment right as a leader commit to things commit to a future that you want to create and then dance with the flow without pushing or forcing anything 
and realize that the seriousness and forcing is actually taking you away from your commitment. And once again, this is a paradox, right? For your commitment to be strong, you have to hold it firmly, but not too tightly. There is no forcing or pushing when you are fully committed to something. Your commitment has its own flow. Once you commit to something, it has its own flow, just like everything else in nature. You can try to force it, you can try to make it happen and you can like create all kind of resistance and friction with it or you can identify the flow of your commitment and just surrender to it or you can just you can just identify the flow of your commitment and flow with it like a wave you can ride the wave like a surfer does without forcing anything or anybody and to wrap this up our life our leadership our work our politics and everything we do is also like music and nature because we are part of nature right we are nature it is only we who make something unnatural right we forget that work can be musical too because work is nature and nature is musical just by its own nature we forget that politics can be musical too we forget that the biggest debates or social issues of our time can also be like music and nature nature is natural music is musical and our life and what we do with it is of the same nature there is no forcing in it so stop forcing give space to the music and then dance and then flow in in that dance and dance in the flow right let it happen let it happen learn to use the right action at the right time learn to use the right leverage at the right time and then every action you take will be on that lever that can shift the world and then every time your anxiety or your internal discomfort or insecurity is forcing you to force something on the outside world you can just let it go you can slow down and you can let it happen thank you that's it for this episode of choosing leadership with sumit gupta I choose leadership every time I record this podcast and I invite you to do the same. I invite you to design a life of joy, meaning, pride and satisfaction. This is what I do most naturally to lovingly and gently provoke you to help you see your own light, to help you see what you are already capable of. I say what might be uncomfortable for me to say or for you to hear. To continue the conversation, leave me a message on LinkedIn or drop me an email to sumit at deploy yourself.com and if you like the sound of this do not forget to subscribe or leave a rating and i invite you to subscribe to my newsletter at deployyourself.com/newsletter thank you for listening always remember that you are enough you are loved and you matter this is somit and until next time keep choosing leadership